Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the fourth week of November, so let's get started. Our first announcement came to us from Sega, confirming that Blade Arcus Rebellion from Shining is set to release March 14th in Japan. This fighting game has over 20 characters from the Shining series and several new systems that will change the way you play in each game mode. Bandai Namco is continuing the strong Switch support by announcing that Super Robot Wars T is heading to the Switch next year. This tactical RPG franchise focuses on huge crossovers between 21 franchises from anime and games in the mecha world. The chaotic party split-screen first-person shooter, Screen Sheet Unplugged, has received a visual overhaul with new remixed maps, remastered weapons, updated UI, and full support for single-player controls on Switch. It's releasing November 29th. Rare Drop Games revealed that the turn-based strategy mecha game Warborn is coming to the Switch next year, with a full single-player campaign as well as 1v1 online matches. During Arc Revo in Japan, Arc System Works confirmed that Kill la Kill the Game IF is selling to the Switch in 2019. This 3D fighting arena game is based on the popular anime series and it will feature a unique new story centered around Satsuki, the student council president of Hanaji Academy. We received confirmation that the JRPG Atelier Lulua The Sign of Ireland is releasing on March 20th in Japan, and additionally, a special collector's edition will be made available. Omen Side is releasing December 13th. This action murder mystery game is the spiritual successor of Path of Destinies, where you can play as a Harbringer whose fate is to reverse the chaos and destruction that has befallen Auraria by the hands of the Dark God. Beowulf announced that the 3D action platformer currently titled Project Ragnarok is heading to the Switch. Not much is known about this title except from its early alpha gameplay from back in September. Firebrand Games is bringing Solar Flux to the Switch December 11th. Collect plasma and fire it to the core of stars to reignite them, but beware as dangers like asteroids and black holes are spread everywhere in its 80 or so story missions. Secret Fasta and Guska is a point-and-click adventure game from Deep Silver released on November 30th. With over 12 hours of story and two playable protagonists, this is the start of the series on the hybrid, as both its sequels are rumored to subsequently release next year. Releasing December 6th, Beholder Complete Edition has to spy on everyone in your apartment building. Place wire traps, cameras, and search apartments while nobody's home. Anything to find out if they're real spies. The medieval twin-stick shooter Iron Cryptical lets you mix and match abilities and upgrading as you battle through branching rooms and collecting loot. Local co-op is also included. Releasing next week, a robot named Fight Deathmatch Update is a roguelike metroidvania with couch co-op and tons of new content not available in other versions, like 100 challenge rooms, new bosses, items, and enemies. Ghost Blade HD is a pixel art bullet hell shooter releasing next year, including tape mode for vertical play, leaderboards, and achievements with two player co op. Releasing November 29th, Crimson Keep is a roguelike first person action RPG with multiple classes and abilities to match, and permadeath components to deal with. Please Don't Touch Anything was announced and released this past week. This is a cryptic, brain racking, button pushing puzzle game where you can push a button or don't. The game will make sure to do its best to make you feel guilty for it. The Warhammer licensed Mordheim Warham Skirmish is released on November 26th. Explore the ruins of Mordheim and clash with other warbands, and the Switch version boasts improved visuals with four factions to play with. Waku Waku Suites released in Japan a few months back, and we saw it get released on the Western eShop this past week. Use your Joy-Cons and motion controls to create over 100 recipes and have fierce cook-offs for other chefs. Another eShop shadow drop is the arcade simulator P's Death. You play as the Reaper who must determine each person's faith by either sending them to heaven or let them roast in hell. The Hand of F DLC bundle and performance changes are included for the Switch. Dandy and Randy is a top-down 2D old-school arcade game with numerous bosses, over a dozen levels, and tons of puzzles to solve. With over 100 challenging levels spread throughout two game modes and dexterity trip, you must avoid death, plan your moves, teleport, shift gravity, and kill enemies. Lots and lots of enemies. Arcade System Works is releasing the Psycho Collection Volume 3 next year. This physical bundle will include Strikers 1945-3, Sengoku Cannon, Gun Barrack, and Zero Gunner 2, all of which are vertically scrolling shooters. Saboteur 2 Avenging Angel is getting a physical release on Switch. The CX Spectrum Classic will follow the original's release in summer of 2019. The pixel art platformer Kuso is available in the eShop with 41 unique levels and two-player local co-op. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. I hope you all had a festive turkey day. I wanted to take a second to mention that I'm very thankful to you guys for constantly checking out my work and supporting the channel. This has been a year of growth, not only for me, but for what I do, and I'm very grateful. So with all that said, as per always, if it wasn't obvious enough, thank you guys so much for watching, I truly appreciate the support. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!